Welcome to Schoff's classes. Today we'll be dealing with Schrodinger's wave equation from atomic structure. Let us begin with our course. Now let us assume that uh, for a standing wave of wavelength lambda whose amplitude let us denote the amplitude as a at any point along x direction may be described as a function of fx now it can be shown as d square fx by dx square equals minus 4x square by lambda square whole into fx that is if an electron is considered as a wave which moves only in one dimension then d square psi which is this symbol over here d x square is equals to 4 pi square by lambda square into psi therefore comparing the two equations we can say fx is equals to psi the reason being for this is that psi is a function of both time and space and is related to a body at a point x y z at time t an electron may move in three dimensions x y z so above equation becomes del square psi by dx square plus del square psi by dy square plus del square psi whole divided by dz square which equals to 4 pi square by lambda square psi using the symbol now we'll be using the symbol nabla instead of the three partial differentiation and thus this whole equation can be written as nabla square psi equals to minus 4 pi square by lambda square psi this is called the de Broglie's relationship or rather from the de Broglie's relationship which states that lambda equals to h by mv where this h is nothing but the Planck's constant and m is mass and v is the velocity hence we can see that nabla square phi equals 4 pi square m square v square by h square into psi now let us take this all on one side that is nabla square psi minus or rather this will be plus since there was a minus over here as 4 4 pi square m square v square h square that is the whole above term equals to zero now we'll be using the kinetic and potential energy to make this equation into something more relatable from the relation e equals to k plus v that is energy equals to kinetic plus potential we can write kinetic energy is nothing but the total energy minus the potential energy but k is also written as half mv square now half mv square is equals to e minus v therefore small v square is equals to 2 by m e minus v substituting v square in the equation that we had got above which is this one that is we'll be substituting it over here we find the following relation this is a very famous equation this is because this is nothing but the Schrodinger's equation 
this format of writing a wave function is very famous and from this the acceptable solutions to a wave equations are first psi must be continuous psi must be finite psi must be single valued and lastly and lastly the probability of finding electron in the plus infinity and the minus infinity space should be equals to 1 that is integration from minus infinity to plus infinity psi square dx dy dz should be equals to 1.